what a game. And we'll, of course, talk more extensively about the game tomorrow in the post-game thoughts. But what I wanted to focus on real quick was just some of the things that I think are the biggest issues with this Ravens offense. Because obviously this Ravens offense is a big issue. It should be a big issue for opposing teams in a positive way for the Ravens, in a negative way for opposing teams. But the Ravens is a big they have big issues on their offense. Now, one of the biggest things, um, the getting to the, 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 the line of scrimmage late, getting the plays off late, because it, it's sloppy. It's very, very sloppy. But the, the crazy thing about this is that this is not anything new. Ravens been doing this for years. This has been an ongoing thing for years. Even in, in 2019, the season that everybody likes to look back to and compare everything to, they did it back then too. But they've been doing it for years, and it's been an issue that they just have not, and it seems like they will not ever fix with this offense. So that's one. Also, Lamar's been missing. Lamar has been missing. He's had some overthrows. Uh, he has some missed throws. Usually it's the overthrows. Um, so that's an issue in itself. Then something that's just been popping up recently, the drops. It's like, where are these coming from? Where are these drops coming from? But one of my bigger issues, it's not even with the overthrows. It's not even with the drops. Because like I continuously say, with the volume, the, 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 the Ravens passing game, they have such low volume that everything is going to get emphasized that much more, especially the bad stuff. It's going to be highlighted and looked at that much worse because while it is bad, since they're so very far and few and limited opportunities for everybody, Lamar as the passer, the wide receivers and tight ends as the pass catchers. There's so few opportunities for everybody that anything that goes wrong, if the passing game doesn't go perfect, it's rough. But anyway, one of my biggest issues for this Baltimore Ravens offense, in my opinion, is their emphasis and their focus on them trying to make Pat Ricard a, a playmaker and a weapon. That is my biggest issue with this Ravens offense, and this is nothing against Pat Ricard. Because he is obviously, he's a fullback, he's a wide receiver one, he's a tight end two, he's an offensive lineman, he's still a defensive lineman in his spare time. Um, he, he does a lot of things. But the Ravens, they have this, this focus. And hey, sometimes stuff goes good, sometimes stuff goes bad. So I'm not saying it just because this was a rough game for the offense, but I'm just saying it's because it's something that we see so much. They put so much focus on the wrong thing. Things, in my opinion, they try to focus on Pat Ricard being a playmaker when I feel like that focus and that emphasis should be placed on somebody else. The way they they and John Harbaugh talked about it before, because this is not anything just be based off of this game alone. This has been an issue with the Ravens for a minute. Harbaugh talked about how they don't want to scheme wide receivers open. They don't want to uh, disagree with that. You should. But anyway, um. They will scheme plays for Pat Ricard where he is the feature guy, where he is the primary target, where he's catching a pass, catching a screen, da, da, da. and that's cool. I'm not saying you can't and shouldn't do that, but I'm saying that emphasis could be placed on other people who have more potential to make a big play other than Pat Ricard. I just feel, and it's not just with Pat Ricard, but I feel like that, that emphasis that they put with Pat Ricard, it should be placed with other people too. How about we set Tylen Wallace up? How about we set Deshaun Jackson up for a screen? He obviously clearly still got some speed. Let's continue to set Duvernay up for him. They be doing that. They do it with DeMarcus sometimes, but set up, not even just Mark Andrews, because you know Mark Andrews is going to get his regardless, but set up Josh Oliver for a screen. Set up, uh, they, they do it with Drake every now and then. Gus Edwards, no, they don't. They don't use him as a pass catching back too often. They use Drake as, but Gus Edwards, no. They're like, hey, you're going to be all, all bulldozing back. You just go run somebody over. That's it. Passes thrown to you. Passes designed for you. No, no, no. Just go run somebody over. Um, but you can you can do, th again, Pro Shade, Tyler Wallace. Like, you, those guys are active. They fresh, too. Very fresh. So you, you, you got to take some of that emphasis off of trying to make Pat Ricard this playmaker and throw it on somebody else. I think that will take the defense, I mean, excuse me, take the offense such a long way I really do but I mean it's it's almost too late at this point like <laughs> the Ravens are who the Ravens are they have their identity they know who they are um but this offense they they 
I mean, is it too late? I don't think it's too late, but I think one of the Ravens' issues, too, is that we see these issues, they see these issues, but they don't do what it takes to fix these issues. They don't do it. And I think one thing with the overthrows, yes, the overthrows, they're bad. Now, overthrows are always bad, but I think one thing for sure, I think Lamar Jackson really misses Hollywood. And I think he misses that speed that Hollywood had. That's why when you saw with Deshaun Jackson, it was like, oh, okay. All right. But it's, it's still not an excuse for the overthrows at all. Overthrows are still bad. But Ravens, like, again, like we, we talked about from the beginning of the season, they have all these, these little issues, these self-inflicted wounds where they just hurt. They hurt themselves. And they do it over, and they do it over, and they do it over. Some games, they get away with it. Some games, like, hey, whew. Ooh, we got away with it, but other games, they'll turn out like this. They'll turn out like this. And it's tough, man. It's tough. So hopefully, I mean, it's late, but hopefully Ravens will fix a lot of those issues. And so we'll see. Um, I know most people probably don't have much confidence in them too, but we'll see. It's any given Sunday. <laughs> As today gave you a nice reminder of. Team, keep it clean. I love you. I appreciate y'all. I'm out.